In this video, we compare Marvelous Designer Cloth Simulation to the U-Draper plugin for Unreal Engine. Penelope wearing the red top is powered by Marvelous Designer, and in the black top we're looking at U-Draper. Penelope's dress comes from the Marvelous Designer Asset Store, Closet Connect, where we downloaded free assets. Now for the simulation results. I find the U-Draper cloth movement acting like a floppy parachute. We may need to explore the U-Draper setting some more. However, we also had other problems. In U-Draper, there's a feature to cache the cloth simulation, but the cache keeps advancing on each frame, even during frame warm-ups and during temporal anti-aliasing subsamples. This means the U-Draper cloth does not remain in sync with the meta-human. We also had bad artifacts with spatial anti-aliasing, where it would motion blur the cloth, but not the meta-human. In the end, we removed motion blur for both tests. The marvelous designer cloth moves, folds, and flows quite naturally. You sense the cloth density, showing its elegance and beautiful form. Because it's transferred via a Lembic file into the Unreal Engine geometry cache, marvelous clothing is easy to scrub in real time on the Unreal Engine timeline, remains in sync, and produces very high quality motion blur. Here are the two tests side by side. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below.